Hey guys, welcome to my second video on the personal wiki software, WikiDPad. If you haven't seen my introductory video where I talk about the fundamentals surrounding WikiDPad's origins and some of its potential applications, check it out on our channel. Today, we're going to go over where to find the WikiDPad software and how to install it on your computer. First, open your browser and type in WikiDPad SourceForge. Okay, you should see something that says WikiDPad Wiki Notebook for Windows, Linux, Mac OS. Okay, you're going to go ahead and click on that. Now that we're at the SourceForge website, go ahead and take a moment to pause this video or bookmark the page so that you can read more about the software. Otherwise, go ahead and trust me implicitly because you should always trust strangers on the internet. Scroll down to the bottom of the page to the downloadable links. Okay, and this is the one we're looking for right here. We're looking for the 2.2 stable WikiDPad 2.2 executable file. You notice that there are two newer versions of WikiDPad 2.3 and 2.4. I'm gonna avoid using these because I prefer working with finished products. Also right down here, there is a uh, spell check add-on a few rows down. Feel free to download that as well, but I won't get to that in this video. Click on the WikiDPad 2.2 link to begin your download. It'll take you to the more official looking SourceForge page and should automatically begin your download. Once your download is finished, click on the arrow here and click on show in folder. This should open up your downloads folder. Okay, double click the WikiDPad 2.2 download to launch the install software. You may get a notification like me Yep. Uh, about whether or not you want to let the software make changes to your computer. Go ahead and click yes. Uh, click next once the installer uh, opens to get started. So the license agreement here is just a uh, general license. We'll go ahead and close that. Um, so this is a general public license, so nothing really to worry about there. Go ahead and hit next. Um, standard installation, I'm going to assume that the average viewer is planning on installing the software on their computer hard drive. If that's the case, go ahead and stick with the standard installation. If you want to install the software on a thumb drive or an SD card, then you want to select the portable installation option. If you want to be able to access the software no matter what user account you log into on your computer, or if you want other people who use your computer to have access to the Loki D-Pad software, then select all users. If you don't, want other people getting into your stuff or you want them using the software, go ahead and click current user. So for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna leave the install, install location as is. If you'd like to install the file directory somewhere else, like your program files, use this browse function. Just remember where you put the files. Okay, this is asking you if you'd like a WikiDPad shortcut to appear in your start menu, not to be confused with the taskbar at the bottom of your screen. Um, I want that shortcut, so I'm going to leave it as is. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to check this box. So I'm just going to click next. If you don't understand what these next options are asking, don't change anything and move along. If you do understand, then you don't need me to explain it to you. Now review your decisions and click install. I'm not going to click install because I already have it installed on my computer. So I'm going to click cancel. Yep. Okay. So once the program's installed, go ahead and open WikiDPad. Okay. Um, when the install finishes, it might have a feature that asks you if you want to close the install and open WikiDPad at the same time. If not, go ahead and open your uh, start menu folder and or start menu and scroll down to the WikiDPad folder and go ahead and click on the WikiDPad icon. Congratulations, you've successfully installed your own personal wiki software on your computer. Go ahead and feel free to, to goof off, to play with this, figure out what all the buttons mean. I'm going to have a tutorial coming up on the top 27 things I think P wiki D-pad users should know. Make sure you subscribe so you can get those videos later. If you would like to support our channel, please subscribe. 